G'day, Michael from The Generator Place here. Well, we're on to our second test for the morning, the Yamaha EF2200. So let's start it up and see how it performs. Okay, so that's the Yamaha up and running on Eco Throttle, similar to the Rado. So once again, we just have the three appliances running, the angle fridge, the bar fridge, and the air conditioner. So let's see what the wattage is. So we're sitting around 140 to 150 watts. Let's check out the decibels. So close enough to 57 decibels on the Yamaha. Okay, so similar to the Rado, let's throw the air conditioner on so we get it at half load. Okay, so the air conditioner has kicked in. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed that, but versus the Rado, you could see the unit really struggled to kick that air conditioner in. Now the reason for that is the Yamaha is a 79cc engine, whereas the Rado is a 122cc engine. So it kicked the air conditioner in a lot easier. But now it's up and running, let's check the wattage. So once again, very consistent, just under the 1200 watts. What's the decibels? So we're sitting around 64 decibels. Okay, so similar to what we did with the Rado, we're gonna throw the toaster on and let's get it at a three quarter load or close to uh, over that 2000 or around that 2000 watts. So toaster's on. That's sitting at just under 1900 watts. And let's check the decibels. So sitting around that 67 decibels. Okay, so the toast is off, air conditioner is still running. So let's throw the microwave on and see what happens when the unit actually overloads. Well, there you go, the unit overloaded. So I didn't even get a chance to throw the microwave on. So I wasn't able to complete the test. So that's how the Yamaha EF2200 performed.